Hello guys, today will be a short video for you and for those who subscribe to my channel and watch my videos all the time, you probably remember that about like three or four months ago I deleted air suspension on my station wagon, on my BMW 535E61 and after removing those parts I had this error message you can see right now. It was uh, screaming that there is no uh, self-leveling suspension and that error message was on iDrive screen and also in the instrument cluster. And I tried to search forums, Russian, English ones, and I couldn't find a solution. So I decided to post several uh, threads on various BMW forums. And uh, luckily, uh, somebody responded. And uh, I sent those instructions to my uh, friend who has BMW programs, like uh, NCS expert in his computer. And he looked at those and he said, hey, I, I think I can do that. I can, I can fix your error message. So right now I'm on my way to his place and we'll try to remove that error message. Just drove approximately 15 miles from my friend's place and wanted to show you guys that he was able to successfully remove error message. Let me start my car. I just have a service warning about brake fluid. So it's nothing. Just need to do it one of these days. And let's wait for our drive to start. We'll check error message. I'm just gonna show you that it's not there anymore. Come on, I drive. Okay, so we go info sources, service info, and we go to check control messages. Yep, this is the only error message I have right now. And this is it. Like I said, it's going to be a short video because those instructions that somebody posted for, for my friend don't make much sense to me, but I'm glad that he could understand that and he successfully coded my car. If you guys need same uh, help or like you need the same instructions, I'm gonna post link in description to my thread that I had started at 5series.net forum and you can follow those instructions and I hope it's gonna help you code your E61 as well. So you guys gonna have error-free car like mine. And I'm happy in this, my car is basically totally error-free right now except service error messages. So stay tuned and I'll see you in next video. Bye-bye.